Hello, familia. We Welcome back. Two, three, go. If I can't talk verbally to you, uh, uh, let me. If I can't talk, shut off my. There you go. Welcome back, familia. I've missed you all. It's so good. I'm so happy to have you all here. If you can hear me, please give me like a thumbs up. Let me know you can hear me. Welcome, Lacey Brooke. Welcome, Juline in the house. John in the house. Elvia in the house, Ann Horton in the house, Roxana in the house, we got Pam in the house, who else do we have? Deborah in the house, <laughs> awesome, so happy to have you all here, all, all of you, I was going to say how many people are in here, but no, <laughs> Angela, welcome, Audrey Hitch Hutch Hutchison, thank you, welcome, sorry, I don't know what was wrong with my tongue just then. Um, Leo in the house, <laughs> Dr. House in the house. I used to love that show, by the way. Uh, Mark, hey, how did do, Leo? What it is? Is that how you print? Is that how you answer that? I don't know how, how to answer that. All right, we're gonna play a little game. What color is my shirt? What color is my shirt? And what are we gonna talk about today? We got questions. We got some questions. What's that? What's that guy's name uh, on um, Ellen on the Ellen Show? The the DJ is it Twitch? I think it's Twitch, isn't it? I want to say it's Twitch. Let's see. Uh, black shirt. Hello. Yeah, it's Twitch. I got my own Twitch today. <laughs> All right, cool. So the big reveal, what color is my shirt? Also, who am I talking about when I'm talking about when I say that I have my, my own my own Twitch? Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? <laughs> so my my shirt is actually gray and my Twitch is Liana y Amor Torres Lopez! Be, 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 be. <laughs> Say hi! Hi. She's all, hi. <laughs> yeah, she's my, my, uh, my ukuleleist. She's got some ukulele skills. Go, guitar solo! I mean, ukulele solo. Oh, what am I doing? Nice. How many Archies does she get for this uh, awesome ukulele solo? Come on. How many Archies? This is a little number she wrote herself. She's actually working on this song. <laughs> Awesome. What's uh, what's good, familia? Welcome back to another Q and A with an a, with a former atheist. Um, I don't know. Should I have you? You want to sit in? You want to sit in on this one, or do you want to sit out? I sit in. You'll sit in. And then I sit out. And okay. Then I'll put my hand back in, and I'll show you all about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the whole talking. And then... I don't know that they can hear you, uh, but uh, I'll just put the mic right here, right in my face. Right in your face. Let's see. It's probably better there. All right. <clears throat> so as she said, yeah, do the hokey pokey. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So they did hear you. <laughs> um, yes, excellent. Welcome back. So let's uh, let's let's get going. Let's get going with some with some cues. Throw some cues, and we'll we'll give we'll, some A's. And we'll give some A's. I don't know. I'll give some A's. I don't know oh. if Lena Yi will give I'm, some I'm A's. Boring. She might give her her two cents. You got two cents. Here you go your money. <laughs> you go your monies. Uh, yeah, Liana, he actually, she used to pretend to play guitar when she was a, a, a little girl. She was like two. Yeah, she was about two. And she was like rocking out to Paramore. And then she would stop and then go up to me and she would say, here you go, you monies. So she would actually, I guess in her mind, she would make money for me. <laughs> yeah. It's still a dream of mine. One day she will actually be paying the bills, preferably her own bills, at least, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, a galaxy child says my daughter plays ukulele. How old? How old? Are you tired of people nagging you to become a Christian? Pam, 
came out of the came out of the the door with a with a straight question. Uh, am I tired of people nagging you nagging me to become a Christian? Uh I don't know that they're nagging. I understand where they're coming from. I really understand. Oh, so she your daughter's nineteen. My daughter is how old? How old? Say it. Fourteen. I forgot. Yeah, she's 14 going on about 20. 30. Just kidding. 30. Uh, <laughs> this is nagging. Well, <clears throat> um, it's not so much that I'm tired of it, uh, uh, Pam, but it is a little bit um, nerve, not nerve wracking. Invasive? Yeah, it's a little invasive. So it is kind of like, oh, you know, I, you know me, like I like responding to everybody. An exceedingly amount of times. Yeah. And I, I like to respond as many to as many people as I can, but now I just hit the like button. I don't really respond because I feel like I'm I'm responding to the same questions over and over again. And uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I sometimes feel like saying like, hey, maybe you should watch more videos and find out maybe. All right, so Kenneth uh, Permel says, you say former atheists and on your videos you say you're a non-Christian. How would you define yourself now? Um, huh? What am I doing? I am on a live, baby. I'm thirsty. Oh, I'll give okay. her water. Get her water, please. Um, my other my other baby is also here. Lou, come here. Real quickly. Just real quickly. Just real quickly. So, this is my other baby, <laughs> Luna. Luna Quetzal. I don't show her much. And there's a reason for that. But this is her. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Get out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, that's my Lou. My little Lou. Um, so what do I define myself as now? I really, honestly, personally, I don't have a label. I don't call myself anything. Um, although I do like this title. I do like the label, not that I'll put it on, but, uh, the followers of the way. I really like that. That sounds very legit. That sounds gangster, you know, <laughs> followers of the way. Um, yeah, my Luna Quetzal. Yeah. Um, and, um, so I don't ha really have a label. I use non-Christian only for the purpose of, of letting you all know that I'm I'm reacting to Christian music from a non-Christian, like that I'm not a Christian and I'm looking at Christian music. So the, the reaction you're about to see is from a non-Christian perspective, from someone who's not a Christian. Um, give, me, give, me, give me the cup. Give me the cup. Give me the cup. Okay. You're going to go on the bed? Okay. Please be quiet. Okay. Love you. Be careful with the cable, please. That's my mic. Wait, I'm, not my phone. I'm. I apologize, Miss. How come you're not charging my phone? She says. <clears throat> yes, boss. Right away. I'm right on top of it, Rose. Who knows that? Where that's from? Who knows where that's from? Do you win um, a free Erica ukulele? <laughs> um. That was the originals. Yeah. That. That's uh, John. Yeah. I, I. I learned that from you. Um. I really do like that. So. Um. Roxana, what are you now? Answer gold. <laughs> Thanks, Roxana. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what is the way? Ooh, what is the way? The way. That's mm -hmm. a good question. Um, I'm not, you know what? I actually, whenever I don't know the answer to a question, I just answer straight up. I don't know. I don't know what the way is. Um, I'm not saying that I'm following my own way or anything like that. Um, but all I know, like, honestly, the thing that I want the most is to be myself 100%, to be as honest as I possibly can. And I've gotten, I've actually answered a few comments um, on, on some of my videos. And then I quickly regret it because I feel like, like, mm, I don't know, like, they don't understand where, where I'm coming from, or they, they quickly frame what I'm saying. And it's like, that's not what I meant. And then it becomes like this back and forth, like, no, you definitely said this. And I'm like, nope, that's not what I said. Sorry. That's why it's hard over comments too. Like are you being sarcastic? Are you not? Yeah. That's why emojis and commas come in handy. Now, okay, so uh, John says it's based off of the saying that that Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." Um, and I, I, I like that part. I like that part. It's the second part that says that says no one comes to the Father but through me. That I'm. Uh, not questioning, but I, I guess, yeah, questioning. Questioning is not bad. Uh, not in a mean way, not in a bad way, but I, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Only, and I say that only, uh, I say that biasly because of how I came to follow the Great Spirit. 
or what you all consider to be the Holy Spirit or the Father. Um, it, it wasn't through Jesus, or maybe it is through Jesus, and I haven't discovered that yet. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, I didn't. And so when people hear that, they think, well, um, you got to make sure because we got to make sure it's not the devil or you got to make sure that it's not, you know, evil spirits or a demon or whatnot. And and honestly, um, sometimes I find it a little disturbing when people know more about demons than they do about the love of God. Like, talk to me about that, you know, from that perspective. And I, I say that, excuse me, I say that respectfully. Uh, they never do anything apart from each other. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. See? But yet, but yet, um, it, it, there's still some like divisive uh, language there when we talk about one or the other. So it's like, okay, so he says, uh, nobody comes to the Father but through me. So if I came to the Father, did I also come to Jesus? You know, in that, in that sense. So I understand the Trinity. I understand the Trinity. I understand the three in one. But I, I feel sometimes in, in uh, linguistically there is a, a separation even in even in Christianity that I still kind of don't understand. For example, I've been getting into I was getting into like a, not really a discussion. It's just that the, these again these two people, a Muslim and a Christian, were sort of having an argument in in one of my threads, and I brought up just I, I just quickly jumped in and I said, hey, um, can for the next few lines can we just find common ground and quickly the christian said there is no common ground Allah is like false prophet and and i really wanted them to come to an agreement of where like they can meet you know which for me was like love meet and love and it i i said something that quickly got turned into leonardo believes that allah and jehovah are the same person are the same in one and to a certain degree i did say something similar to that but but what i meant to say was like, if you believe that there's only one father, then why are you acknowledging, like, a separate God? Like, like I wouldn't even acknowledge Allah. Like, I wouldn't even say anything about Allah, like the false prophet or the demons or anything like that. Because to me, it's like acknowledging means that I've already split uh, God. And to, for me, that's that's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. That For me, I, I consider that blasphemy. If you if you actually acknowledge that there is a separate God from, from the one that we consider to be the one, that to me is like you're splitting him into two one is true one is false like to me the false is false it's just not non-existent for me so i don't know how you all feel about that you can you can make the comments uh down below if you'd like i'm not looking to, to start any uh controversy yes no, but i was gonna say it's like words like different places in the earth call different things differently like speak up so some places call um the thing you use to take away pencil eraser or a rubber or like soccer football <clears throat> yeah yeah it's like a, a, a like you say this is a this is an apple and i say no that's not an apple that's a that's a manzana it's the same. and it's like no it, it's it's an apple and i say no it's it's not it's a manzana and i could be adamant about that and say look 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 at this book it says manzana and it's like mm, okay but you know but anyway so let's uh Let's not not start a uh, not start an argument, but if we can have some kind of a Q and A discussion going on about that, let me know. Um, I'd 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 love to hear it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how are you pursuing your search? Is it studying God's word, praying for answer? Um, a, a little bit of both, actually. Um, when I, uh, you know, from a. W f so this is a Q and A from a former atheist, right? So I'd I'd prefer to have questions about what it was like for me to think like I used to think as an atheist to help you all sort of uh, understand the mentality. A a atheist mentality and help you cope or deal with it from a Christian perspective. Um, but one one of the things that I that I do is yes, I study the the Bible, but some of it for me, some of it I have to sort of sift, if you will. Uh, what is God's word versus what I, what, not what I feel internally, intuitively, that is sort of like man's interpretation. Because we have to remember that in English, in English, there isn't, um, well, in, the, the Bible was actually written in, in Hebrew, right? Or, uh, yeah, so some of it is in Hebrew, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's written in a different language. And some languages, they have words for certain things that do not translate into English. And I, I I'm, I, uh, uh, or in Latin, okay. And so I know that even translating a song that's very simple from Spanish to English, in English it's like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like, sabor a mi, for example. Uh, you know, we've, we've, 
o sea, tanto tiempo disfrutamos de este amor. We've enjoyed this love for, for, for so long. Uh, our souls came together much like this. But just like here, also over there, you will always have a taste of me. And in English, that d like, makes it, like, it makes no sense. But in Spanish, it's like one of the most romantic things that you could sing to someone, right? And so, I, so I'm, I'm careful about that because if, if it says, you know, I, I don't know, I don't want to pick out, I don't want to pick up a phrase from the Bible because I don't want to, I don't want to give the impression that I take it to or, mean or something tra else. Translate redfish, bluefish. Oh no, no, a perfect example. Okay, perfect example. When I was, uh, when I was uh, uh, studying graphic design, and by studying, I mean just YouTube and, and Barnes and Noble, <laughs> looking at books and stuff. There was a thing that said, that had a phrase that said, uh, w when you're writing in text, when you're writing in text, it, you have a, a phrase that says, I didn't say she stole your money. And you can put an emphasis on every single word in that sentence and it'll mean something completely different. So I didn't say she stole your money, which means that I didn't say it. Maybe that person over there said it. Or I didn't say she stole your money. I may have implied it. I may have written it down somewhere, but I didn't say it. Um, also, um, I didn't say she stole your money. It wasn't mm -hmm. her. It might have been him. I didn't say she stole your money. She yeah. probably borrowed it from you. I didn't say she. I didn't say she stole your money. She <laughs> stole that other person's money. I didn't say she stole your money. She stole your your gold chain or something. Yeah. And so you put an emphasis on every single word, and it means something completely different. So I'm very cautious when it comes to reading uh, scripture, and I think that's where sometimes. Um, sometimes scripture creates denominations where like you'll take the same phrase and it'll mean something different to different like denominations. Red and read. Red and read. Like yeah. I hope I read red correctly so I yeah. don't read red as read and I read red as red. <laughs> and you enter the data correctly into the database? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so things like that. So, you know, So if, if you can imagine just that phrase in English alone had different interpretations. Now, what's to say that um, in the translation, something might have been might have been lost. And, and it happens in, in Sanskrit as well. When uh, you're reading books like the Bhagavad Gita to translate something that is part of a part of the uh, Indian culture and try to translate it into Western culture, which which they do not like Western culture. They don't have that that type of that concept there's just no little translation and the closest thing they could do is give you like an like a story or an idea of, yeah. of what they mean but it still doesn't quite translate to the exact uh like yeah so, so that's that's what i that's what i meant to say i don't know if that answered your question it went the long way around so i do partially mostly that sometimes i'll just sit i'll 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 call the 333 and then i'll just use my, my yeah my con my connection with uh with the great spirit and 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 gain sort of guidance in that way uh one of the things that i that i've been telling some people uh lately is you know i don't know i don't know how you all interpret this but for me the truth or the word is that is written in my heart and it's written in my spirit and if i if i if i actually Uh, go within I don't know how that's going to sound <laughs> to some people um, and be still as I say be still and know then you know I, if I'm still I will know um, Thomas Anderson says does your former atheism have anything to do with taking psychedelic no never uh, no psychedelics are like like drugs that make you hallucinate you know, see things drugs no yeah no definitely no drugs uh, I've wondered how atheists think of death I had one say that the dead turn into spirits ghosts but that seems really foreign what was your belief as an atheist um, I was still sort of on the fence about you know what happens after death because some people just say well I realized that if I that as an atheist I had to identify with my body I had to identify with my body and I had to relate to science so Uh, if I identify with my body, uh, then that meant that upon my death, I was dead. That's it. I was, that, that's it. Nothing happened. My mind, everything that I, that I accumulated mentally, my personality, everything would die along with me. And the only sort of life that would continue was, was the memory that my family members had of me. But I knew that there was, um, 
I used to think of like death as as this as a sort of like the space within the room. So I still believed in a sort of a spirit, if you will. Um, I never wandered that far into like atheism where I was completely closed off. But I thought about it like the space inside this room. And there's a room with four walls. As soon as this body of mine dies, the walls it would be like the walls crashing down, and my spirit, the space within the room, expanding into everything. into everything. So. You know, it would be like me just occupying another space outside of my body. So yes, the soul leaving, if you will. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, in, in that sense. I used to think that just the person just took a really, really long nap. <laughs> when I know uh, better now, but <laughs> Elise, hi Elise, uh, says hi Leo. When you were an atheist, what were the best questions you were asked, and what did you answer? Um, oh, the best questions? Mm, I don't know. Um, I don't know that I was asked too many like the, well no I I didn't receive that many like best questions I received a lot of bad questions actually uh, some of the some of the approaches were kind of hurtful mm -hmm. to be honest were mean uh, my daughter was only about um, I want to say six or seven and they mm -hmm. would ask me they would ask me like dude aren't you afraid that your daughter's gonna be burning in hell for all eternity and I'm like why would you say that to someone that that's that's horrible like you no know no matter what you believe so you should keep children out of it <laughs> luna goes which daughter this one not not you Fair. you're not gonna be burning out don't worry about it <coughs> i'm just kidding you have to eat your veggies okay yeah so. you gotta eat your veggies and then you'll be you'll be good and listen to your parents uh bad questions also get yeah so um i received a lot of that i received a lot of those types of questions um but i don't know just you know, it, 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 the different, the huge difference was the question of heaven and hell and, and whether or not there was a God that hated me and didn't like me because I was a filthy sinner and, and all of that. And so, you yeah, know, that's a good question. those are questions. Yeah, sure. Not, I don't, don't, don't come at me, but <laughs> don't say um, it like that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but the one thing I'm confused about is that, um, I mean, obviously like if you um, sorry, huh? I'm trying to put it into words. <laughs> like, what are, like, the, what's it called? Like, not the restrictions, um, like, when you're allowed to go someplace. Like, the jurisdictions or something? I don't know. But to go into heaven. So, I, I mean, obviously, you're not going to, like, if, if you murder someone, you're probably not going anywhere good. But, like, sometimes some people, they nitpick at, like, the smallest things and say, like, oh, if you do this, you're going to hell. But why would they pick at something that's like easy to change obviously if you kill someone that's like very very bad yeah, yeah. i think the only the only one that there's no coming back from there you go. the only one that there's like absolutely no coming back from well there are two one was is committing suicide mm -hmm. and the other is uh blasphemy against the holy spirit so you can talk a bunch of mess about jesus and a bunch of mess about the father and repent and be and and like repent mm -hmm. is like being sorry for what uh -huh. you did and and it'll be forgiven but to sin against the holy spirit which is again i say like like your mother like you do not disrespect your mother like mm -hmm. you know disrespecting the holy spirit is like a like a unforgivable no. like mm -hmm. you cannot okay. be forgiven for that um denying god uh, even that could be forgiven right I, I, I don't know am i am i wrong like i could deny god but then at some point regret it accept and then be forgiven. Um, if I'm if I'm reading that correctly, Google Mama, can you turn it down just a little bit, please, baby? Thank you. Um, so so there's that. Um, let's see. Any other any other questions that I missed? Let me see. Let me go back up and see if I missed any questions. I'm falling. I don't know. Did we ever answer the question I had last time, which was? Um, where was, what, what do you believe, you, where do you believe your spirit or your soul was before you actually took it, took this form and took human form in a file or Just kidding. before, before you actually like, wh where, where did your soul or your spirit come from? The Blasphemy Lord? of the Holy Spirit is saying that the supernatural works of God are actually from the devil. Really? Hmm. Blasphemy is anything that has to do against God. So, oh, okay. So, yeah. Speaking against God or the Word of God. 
Uh, I've never really even thought about that. What a great question. Um, the question was the question was where do you where do, where were you what where was your spirit before you actually came or born into this mm. into flesh there's a lot of stuff that we were just told and that we never really questioned like how do we know dinosaurs do sound like that Dinos- <laughs> you've never heard it Sorry, suicide I'm- is not unforgivable really well, I don't know. I, I come from a Catholic background, and I know that like e- like you can't even have like a Catholic ceremony because it's supposedly taking your own life is uh, one of the greatest sins because the life that you have is not your life to take. It's well, I guess it depends on who's teaching God's you, life. isn't it? Well, yeah, but like again, I say because oh. I say it from a from a Christian from a Catholic background. I believe my spirit came into existence at the moment of my conception, unlike Jesus who pre-existed before he became a baby on earth okay okay cool and so thank you thank you for that answer um so then the question is how did i inherit a sin then if 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 my spirit is new and it came into fresh existence then how did i that how did i inherit sin how why why do some christians uh uh stress the 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 idea or or for them it's a fact that you were you inherited sin like in the witch. Like I, yeah. Oh, like I don't know if you guys seen that. Yeah, we were fine in sin, but in sin, in, we're fine inherent sin, but a sin nature. It is a sin, but as long as you're alive, Jesus can forgive you. Okay, because of free will and choice, it is inherited from Adam. So, Adam is the. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, the first man. Um. We're not guilty of Adam's sin, but of bright, but it bright it brought sin into the world. By your, what is it? By your heart, not your spirit. Again, no idea, just a guess. Humanity sinned from Adam and Eve. Okay, because like look, again, I'm not I'm not a Christian. I agree with a lot of Christian ideas and concepts and and beliefs. I I, I agree with with a lot of them. Um, in fact, like, I think, I think Christ is a great teacher. I'm, you know, as a, as a, as a person who was here on earth, who walked on earth, who wanted to teach us to love one another, who wanted to teach and spread peace. Yes. He wanted to spread more than that. Um, I appreciate all the teachings. Um, I appreciate all the teachings and I, I, feel like there's something and you go you all can correct me if i'm wrong i feel like there's something here with with regards to identity of what you identify with because i've asked this question before are you a spirit that has a body or are you a body that has a spirit because if you're a body if you believe yourself to be the body if you identify with the flesh then yes i understand sin and i understand inheriting the sin and i understand uh you know being afraid of, of of dying and 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 all of that if you are if you are a spirit with a body, then isn't sin more easier to overcome? If you, if you learn, if you learn to, um, I'm not saying, and, and by that, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that you can, you can save yourself. Okay. I'm not saying that at all. Okay. Cause I don't want to, I gotta be careful with what I say because I don't want it to be, to be understood. And then later on, somebody says, Leo says that you can save yourself. I'm not saying that at all. My, my question is that my question is if you it, it has to do with identity so if i identify as a spirit isn't my spirit clean as and as and pointed out it's fresh it's new so if i identify with the spirit my spirit is clean the flesh is what's tainted because i gave into my senses i gave into uh you know to to temptation i gave into to wanting to taste things to wanting to see things to wanted to to want to trick people into giving me something so I can experience something and re-experiencing, re-experience th- those things, including lying and all that stuff that has to do with the flesh, right? But but dying, right? We, we talk about dying. We talk about being reborn. Well, we talk about being reborn. So yeah, like somehow your spirit gets tainted, tainted somehow. And when you are reborn, you die to that old self. And what, mama, please don't do that. Um, you, you put the volume all the way down, please you're uh you're born again right so you have to die so be, to me being born again means something must die you can't be born again and then still hold on to all your past 
uh, reactions and your past uh, desires and your your it's like a clean any of slate. that, right? It, it's t- it should be like a clean slate, or am I am I did I do I not understand that correctly? The spirit being renewed, the fight of our flesh is daily. The Bible says that if you thought of sinning, it is the same as sin itself. Mm, I partially agree with that. I don't want to say I disagree. I partially agree with that. Because for me, sin is the action. Okay, yes, if you sin in thought, right? But I think I think it's not the same as you actually carrying out that action. Because I could think about a lot of stuff. Yeah, sure, like when we're, we're like driving, somebody cuts you off, you're like, you sometimes you just feel like you just want to hit the gas pedal and crash it to them teach them a lesson right That's right so like but you don't but honestly like i wouldn't kill someone right so is that the same like you well, know you have a temporary like like frustrated frustrated moment where you think about doing something uh well, it depends you know? because there are also also people who have like murderers it always starts with just thoughts and then they carry out that action right same with like people who you know well i don't want to say the word because it's triggering or something mm. but so know, for those who know sign language. <laughs> uh, you got it. But along with that, we learn to repent of our sins because we know God will forgive us of everything. Okay, I agree with that. See, I've had my version of, of that where as an atheist, as an atheist, I gave up that fight. You've heard it again. I just repeated it again. I gave up my fight as an atheist. I surrendered and I apologized for having walked away. I apologized for having been such a, a a bad child, if you will. And I was embraced and I was forgiven. And and I felt that forgiveness and I felt it. I, however, did not... I was not moved to, to a church. I was not moved to anything else. Yes, it was the Bible was pointed out um, and I did... I do look at it when I look at the Bible I try not to look at it from my own perspective I try to stay step out of my own way and see sort of be guided with the whole with the Holy Spirit if you will um, to to read the words if I don't understand something or if if I have one of those moments where I'm like ah so this is what it means I go no 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 wait 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 take a step back first and see read it again and see if it really does mean that try to see what what else it could mean and then start eliminating you know all the defi- the the definitions that are self-serving if you will versus the the definitions that might be serving serving well the great spirit that I where, where I'm actually going to be carrying out an an, uh, an order if you will by the great spirit that is kind that is loving that is uh, meant to 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 uh, um, take action <laughs> no to expand on on the great spirit's love that that's what I that's what I meant to say. So not just reading once. Yeah, not just reading once, some, something once and then going, ah, that, I have the truth. And then go and regurgitate the, those, those words and, and you, know, you know, use it to defend myself or use it to argue with some. Because I've been there as an atheist. That doesn't feel good at all to argue with, to, to argue with another person who I'm supposed to love, you know? And isn't it like, don't we not know everything? Because like when you say you're studying to become a doctor... They're always constantly studying because there's always new studies and new bacteria right. and new medicines being discovered. Right. That's one. That's one thing that my grandfather used to tell me. He used to say that the older you, the older you get, the more you realize you know nothing. So like everything you like, you could study every, everything there is about an engine, for example, and by the time you know that engine inside and out, technology has already advanced. You know yeah. that that there's new things to 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 learn about the the same engine or that engine is no longer valid. I'm not saying that the things of God are no longer valid, but sometimes certain ideas, right? We, we don't believe that, that we don't believe anymore that when a, a volcano erupts, that we're supposed to throw in a virgin in there to please the gods, right? We don't believe that anymore. Now we don't believe that when there's lightning and thunder, that the, the God of thunder is like, is upset with us. And so we're to sacrifice something, you know? So, so, uh, you know, there's that. So, <laughs> so there's that. I gesticulate a lot. Oh, Forgive my hands. What I signed. <laughs> oh, did it, what did you sign? Sign it again. Me? Yeah. Okay. What did you sign? 
Well, it makes no sense now, but with the context from before, it makes sense. <laughs> okay. Have you prayed and asked that? Okay. Uh, incomplete question, I guess. Um, let's see. The Thank spirit you. is new, but the soul and flesh is not. Maybe God will restore one? the soul. It's like a computer. You ha you need to defrag, defrag it somehow virus. with the soul. I think the mind is like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, so you have so you spirit. You have the spirit, soul, flesh, and then we have the mind that I don't know if we ignore for some reason, but it also plays a big role in in, in the heart and the mind. The heart and the mind, and sometimes we we um, sometimes we we don't realize how just how much the mind actually takes over a lot of the things and makes us do the things that we call sin like it, it makes us do it because we desire something so because are we, we corrupt want or is our mind corrupt i think our, i don't know i don't know that's a good question are we corrupt or are our minds corrupted do you consider the spirit and soul as separate things i do not actually so uh when i when i talk about me i don't even talk about well, when I say me, when I think of I, where I think of where who I am, I think spirit. I think spirit. Soul to me is separate. Sometimes I think of it separate from the separate from the syrup, from the syrup, from the spirit. <laughs> I would think about it separate from the spirit, but I don't usually say soul. Uh, sort of soul to me is like another word for spirit because I feel like a lot of people when they think my soul and my spirit they think the spirit being the spirit of God and soul being me my individual uh, soul uh, my like it's something separate from the spirit and I don't like to think in those terms because that's sort of dualistic and that I don't know that doesn't sit that doesn't fit with me like I, I don't see it as my truth I don't see it as as that I am something even separate from God. I'm not saying that I'm God. Don't take that. Don't take that wrong. Okay, but I don't see myself as something separate from 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 God. Like, like, uh, I just leave it at that because I don't want to. Uh, it's a, it's a dangerous move there. Uh, mind, emotions, and will. You think it's a food and syrup? <laughs> uh, well, see, with emotions, it's a different game because emotions sometimes sometimes emotions can be intuitive, so you know, like, you know, it's you, like you, um like. Um, caring nature. Yeah, your caring nature, or, or your, part mm -hmm. of your human nature, mm -hmm. emotions. But sometimes emotions can be chemicals as well. Sometimes, uh, sometimes like, 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 no, I think like sometimes we become addicted to certain things, and so your brain will release a chemical mm -hmm. that will that will carry out an emotion as a byproduct of that. So, like, um, the, with the kid and the bunny, remember? Yeah, with the kid and the bunny. So, like, you have emotional responses to certain things like uh, i think there's like an experiment where this uh, infant is brought out they sit a bunny and uh, on his lap and then they make a loud noise and the kid gets scared and they take the bunny away they take the kid away they wait another day or two they bring him back they bring the bunny out they make the loud noise again the kid gets scared then they repeat this process until eventually the kid sees the bunny and he's already like, already scared like mm -hmm. already like the, the he he has an emotional re reaction to or response to the to the to the bunny before the loud noise is is even uh at, you know um, at play so also pavlog kind of like i don't know does pavlog ring ring a bell <laughs> uh, oh. you get it come on oh <laughs> come on that was funny yeah. uh, anyways okay so let's go uh let's go back maybe some fun ones <laughs> let's see uh <laughs> Does Pavlog ring a bell? I agree with that. Since all life comes from him, we must be part of him in some way. Even our breathing is referred to as his breath. And yes, so are so we breathing or is God breathing us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had instant replay so I could play that, that the moment where your brain cells exploded. Uh, somebody said, food. Oh, food? You know, I think somebody said uh, something that I was uh, listening to a while back. It says that humans, we, we tend to overthink things, right? Like God just said, let there be light. He didn't say, hmm, what kind of wattage should I use? And should, <laughs> should I use a, a tungsten light or what kind of light should it be? <laughs> you know, thoughts on tacos. Tacos are the best. Uh, oh, in English, we actually had to do, um, it was pozole, ceviche, and tacos. And we each were assigned one. 
and we had to write a CER um, explaining why that food's the best. <laughs> I got ceviche, and I really wanted tacos, but it, I mean, I, I, I got an A on it. Mm, ceviche. Mm, mm, it was mm. shrimp, too. God gives us breath. I asked them, I said, what, what kind of cevi ceviche? And my teacher was like, there's more than one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they said, yeah, there's octopus, there's fish, there's crab, there's shrimp. There's, there's shrimp with fish. fish. <laughs> and there's a, the whole mix of with everything. Like cucumber, we're, tomato. we're so hungry here in this house. Yes. All the time, always in this we're house. We're going to eat Archie eventually. Just kidding. <laughs> we always come back to food. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Fear is faith in the enemy. Uh, we'll, yeah there's there's that topic as well um of the enemy but we're not going to get into all that but um let's see so the word of god separates your soul and spirit and shines light on your intentions according to the bible spirit and souls are two different things okay i'll look into that um i'll look into that because i don't know i just i i, I don't because I because I believe that God is om, omnipresent, uh, to um, think of no, for, let's, let's well, stick with omnipresent. Sorry. So because I believe that God is omnipresent, I don't think I'd like to see my soul as something separate. Otherwise, I'd, I'd either cease to exist or I'd die instantly if the force that glues me together were to be something separate from me. Like I don't I don't know if that makes sense to any of you all, but uh, um, but. I don't know. I don't know how you all take that, but throat in original language. Oh, interesting. Have you seen a case for Christ? I have not seen a case for Christ. Uh, like a power source. Yes. Uh, would you consider looking into any Kanye Sunday services? I already did. I think. I think I covered all the Kanye album, and we looked at some of his Sunday services. You okay? Um, let's see. Let me go back up here and see if I miss any other questions. Um, any questions for me? Just kidding. <laughs> any questions for Liana? No. I'm too shy. No, I'm just the, to the Bible talks about being separate from the spirit. Yeah, okay. Uh, soul is spirit and flesh meeting together. Oh. Oh, okay. That's new. Our flesh is corrupted. Flesh mind thinks evil and selfish in different, in different levels contrary to God. Mm -hmm. Evil. Why is that? Why? Why does the flesh mind think evil? Evil. Did it always think evil? What's a Chick Fil A? <laughs> people got crazy. People got crazy with me that day. Oh, what's it? What's is it only a like Chick Fil A? a United States thing? Yeah, I think so. It's um, oh, cause oh, cause of cause Kanye in one of his songs says something oh. Chick Fil A. So everyone's like, "What's a Chick Fil A?" And people were like. What's mm -hmm. a Chick Fil A? I think I've only had Chick Fil A like once. It's it not that great. Sorry. The flesh is associated with Maya in Hinduism. Yes, it is. But what's crazy is like, how do our bodies work? Because we have a brain. We know we have a brain. We know we have intestines. We know we have eyes and all that. And we know we have flesh. And so we have, um, but like, what really controls us? Because we have a mind. The way we were taught is that our mind controls everything. It's the nervous system. It's like the um, motherboard. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go. John. Th I'm gonna go technical. And you can correct her if she's wrong. Yeah, please do, because I only took like one elective on that. Um, so it's like the motherboard. Okay, so it's like where all like the signals are going through, spread around throughout our body. But yes. how do we think and know when something's See. wrong, when something's right, when something's good or bad? Um. <laughs> Well, and like that's... how how are we able sorry but like we also defer ourselves we also um we, i don't know we also we say that we're different from everyone else but like we're like all technically the same because we have like the same programming it's just depending on like the size you... of the of the cpu as john says the cpu is the center of the motherboard well that's the age-old question is like how do how do we where Function. do we get where do we get good from bad? Right? And like um, a conscience also, we see it as like something else. And also the voice in our head, it's not our own voice. Whose voice is it? Bum, bum, bum. I don't know. Is, Mine is, is, is like there? The question person. is, is there a voice in your head? Oh, where, what's our Jiminy Cricket? What's our Jiminy Cricket? That's right. With a conscience that is obviously wired within us, consciousness 
has a natural yeah. moral compass inherently. I know, but why do we get that? How do we get it? Yeah. And like, what's yeah. making us function? And like, why do we die? Like, because we we we've um refer to it as the soul the spirit and all that well cool okay so we're getting into a little bit of a no 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 it's it's okay because because i know that some to some people um you cannot have moral moral compass if you do not have god um and i don't like to say but and the question that comes up is then why are so many atheists still like Good like people. good people like what well, you consider good people right like they 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 volunteer for things they help things and yet they don't do it to to please a creator they don't do it they don't do it to to i'm not saying everybody wants to earn points but they don't do it to earn any points with the with the father they don't do it to uh to gain it, it really is free will and tomorrow yeah. you, know? you know so i don't know i, I don't know how you not all feel about that but anyone, uh, also like oh i forgot what i was gonna say Oh, and also there are people who um, who just don't have that moral compass. They just do bad things, like killers and all that. Like they just don't have their Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. So okay. So here's a here's a question, Familia. Okay. So before Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, that means to me that means that they did they had no knowledge of what what was good and what was evil right so let's take nudity for as an example because that's actually the first thing that they noticed right that they were they were naked in the garden so before that what what did they have so they were naked but they didn't see it as good or as evil right they were clean slate. so like and, like, and then wait, wait, wait. Sorry. So let me let me just ask the question because so there's that right. The other part of that question, uh, sort of like a follow up to that question, is if God said don't eat from that tree because if you eat it you will die. Well, if they had no concept of of opposites of good and evil, then they had no concept of life and death. And so if there is if they didn't know what death was, then how would they know what would happen if they ate the fruit? Mm. Right? They don't know what it is. So like if, if so if somebody said, Hey, don't eat that from that tree because if you eat from the tree, you're going to get uh, uh summer rockets. Summer rockata. I don't know, some word. And I go, What's a summer rockata? Like there's nothing that would really like it doesn't make sense because I don't have no I have no idea. I have no, nobody's died before, right? Nobody's died. Nobody has ever died. So, have so I have no it. experience with death. So that would, you know, like like the middle sense? finger who saw it and was like, you know, it's kind of offensive. <laughs> so I don't know. You kind of went a little oh, sorry, left, my left, field, left field on that one. But OK, so God doesn't control us. Uh, we have free will and control ourselves because of the love of God. Mm-hmm. OK, so when you say a galaxy child, when you say you control yourself, my 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 question is, who are you? Who is the you that controls you? you? Because sometimes some people can't really con- even control themselves, right? Um, so, but who is you that is controlling? Have you seen that one scene? Like, I am you. You're not me, I'm me. Who are yeah, you? Yeah. I'm you. I'm you. I'm not me, that's me. What is that? <laughs> he is you. <laughs> Sorry. We are ourselves. If you know what that movie is from, I mean, where that yeah. scene is from, say it. God meant they would spiritually die, I think, which is separation from him. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Free willed humans. Free-willed it was spiritual death, not a physical death. I saw that. Okay. 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 Um, okay. That's I'll I'll accept that answer. But why okay, so then why doesn't it say spiritual? You will die spiritually. Why why is that left up for interpretation? Or I wonder what the Hebrew actual what the original Hebrew word is. This seemed to have been flipped. We are doing the the A and Leonardo Torres is doing the Q. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Once again, the word of God is... Well, I want this to be like a back and forth conversation with everyone. So once again, the word of God is your, is your spiritual mirror of, uh, of, you following, of you follow it. Oh, if you follow it. I, I'm assuming you meant... That's who you truly are, who, who he made you. Like, oh, like who he made you to be like one... Like your, his picture of you. Okay. See... Yeah, when I think about a spiritual mirror, I think of this. Like, if I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it would be a mistake for me to consider the person, my reflection, to be me, right? 
That would be like, you look in the mirror, uh-huh. and you put makeup on the mirror, and then walk oh. away. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, there's a difference. But how do we know who we see is who we actually look? Because you, I might look different than the way I see myself. No, now you're getting into so sorry. <laughs> now you're getting into those weird questions. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go back to happy questions, happy questions. Happy questions, okay. Happy days, happy days. Let's see. Uh, wages of sin is death. What does that mean? That means that the, the, the payment, of you mm. have to, if you sin, the payment is death. Death. Unfortunately, we are missing so much from our translated Bible. Yeah, that's that's what I is that good or bad? fear sometimes. I don't think, well, I don't know. It depends because some people take advantage of that. They say, okay, well, this isn't really clear, so I can play with it. And, like you know, book? like there was a guy who started a cult that said that, that convinced people that, that they were supposed to leave their parents behind. It said, you know, uh, that Jesus said, I have not come to, to, to spread peace, but I've come to bring a sword. And with the sword, I will, you know, mm-hmm. I will separate, like, no, I'll separate, uh, turn mother against father son and son against father and and so that person took that phrase and said see you're supposed to leave your mother behind and follow me and so he he started mm. having people follow him and the parents were like i've been trying to reach my son for months now and i haven't been able to reach him and he they weren't allowed to write to them or anything like that so that, that's where it kind of gets kind of like ooh, you know mm. are you still an atheist I, i'm not i'm i am not an atheist do you read the bible yes i do um yes i do read the bible the sword is the word the truth cuts deep yes i'm i'm fully aware of that but unfortunately there are some people that that aren't uh they 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 don't know what to take literal and what to take figuratively um you know and so it's like if everyone keeps saying that if you touch a tree you're gonna die when new kids um hear that they're gonna think oh if i touch a tree i'm gonna die Yeah. yeah yeah and they don't know anything about like before we're having a bible study tomorrow matthew 8 12 2 uh, from 12 to 2 pac- pacific. Uh, pacific standard time in one of the voice chat rooms on discord yes that reminds me join discord if you're interested in uh in following the community um there are prayer rooms there are a lot of uh, different chat rooms that you can join for that are whether you're christian or not um the link is there on the on the chat room John just John just added it. Everyone is welcome. If you're going through some heavy stuff and you need some, need a group of people to pray for you, there are there are uh, some wonderful people there. There's a there's a food channel there, yes, as well too that you can share your tacos and and dishes with us as well. One accord, one accord on Discord. Discord. Yes, that's right. Um, but when he whispers truth, okay, let's see. Food is a must to be discussed. The atheist experience internet show? No, I haven't. I'm I'm not familiar with it. Uh, I am a poet. Don't even know it. <laughs> John, uh, it's okay that you, it's so cool that you were talking about this kind of stuff. More people need to hear God's word. Um, yeah, I'm I'm with that. I'm okay with that. So you believe in a so you believe in a God, just not the God of the Bible. Um, no. I want to say no. I believe, I believe in God. I'm not a God. I believe in God. I feel like the closest that I've seen to what I know and to what I know to be true is the the God of the Bible. Um, however, I'm I'm just a baby here. I'm you know. Yes, I was raised Catholic. Um, I, I was raised Catholic, but. I'm revisiting the Bible um, with with a fresh with fresh eyes, and being guided by what I call the Great Spirit, which is the equivalent to the Holy Spirit or the Father. For for you, referring back to your question as to why a lot of atheists are still good people and do nothing, do good things. Okay, Valerie. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, some, um. What are like the like the actual like um like everyone agreed on like qualifications of like being good or something? Because there's some where they're like um I forgot where I was, but my hair was dyed and um a lady told me that um 
dyeing my hair is bad and it's like a sin or something but i'm like wait is it i don't know but some i don't know if they're like actually real if they're just nick picking but i don't know like what are the, like the actual i don't think i don't know it's different for every for everyone um i don't think that there's anything wrong with dyeing your hair but i don't know i really don't know <laughs> it, it, it's it's different for everyone i don't know unless you i don't know there's some there's so many but i think the most important thing i think the most important thing is is loving the great spirit over everything i think if you get that down if you get that down then you'll learn to be more grateful about certain things then you'll learn to be more patient with a lot of more people then you'll learn to be more giving than you are like selfish um I think that like within that that embrace or that hug that you feel when you surrender completely to the great spirit um there is a part of you that gets consumed by by its warmth by the fire if you will mm-hmm. that that allows you to sort of think twice before you do something that could be considered selfish that could be considered greedy that could be considered um well sinful if you will um and I think depending on why you do certain things, I mean, if you dye your hair to get the attention from boys, then, you know, and that attention leads to other actions, then I think, well, yeah, I mean, dyeing your hair could be considered bad. But if you're dyeing it because you love green and you want to have green hair and you're, you know, blue, green, blue, whatever it is, um, like, you know, it depends. But again, it, it just goes. Like, um, it's only bad in a way if it's for some. I don't know for like the tent. I don't know. I don't know. But I understand it's just like a, it's I just like a, words. it's just like I explained. Like it's just like a yeah. Boys have cooties. John says, "Run mm. the NAE, run, run." Um, yes. So you know this COVID thing uh, came at a great time. She started her high school year this year, really and did. homeschooling is the most awesomest uh, experience. For a dad like it's me, the most bestest. get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. It's just like the conversation we had about bad words, right? Like bad words. There are no mm-hmm. real bad words. Every, every bad word started as something, especially in Spanish. So we <laughs> yeah. say things like, excuse the word, but we say things like, like cabron, which is now taken like a bad thing, but it's actually like a, like it's a goat, a goat. Yeah. That's like, a, like, you know, who's like just, who doesn't care about anything and so we started calling a person that to to sort of reflect what we their behavior like say like you, you you're acting like a like a goat just destroying everything mm-hmm. you know you're acting like and, a, now and now it's taken like a bad word right so like in 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 uh, in argentina one of the words one of the bad words that starts with with a p in spanish Ben, oh. you know, mm-hmm. for them it just means someone who's young and if you think about it if you think about it then that word um that word means like you're a fool like yeah you're a fool but in spanish it sounds horrible when you say when you call that person Especially when, you know, with when, like the accent when, and the when you say emotion it, yeah. of it <laughs> yeah it's like uh like that commercial you son of a biscuit eating bulldog oh yeah <laughs> and he's like what the french toast you know it's like you're not really cursing but the the emotion the, the emotion behind it the, your intention so how did you start calling god the great spirit um well when I had my my encounter, um, I just I just I don't know it it, it just came it really it did it like You're came like, Ego come to me. it's like it just came out of me it was like okay oh it's like the spirit it's but it, it's great right so the great spirit and then and then I realized that the Native Americans also call call God the Creator the great spirit and I think for me it's very fitting because it is the great spirit and it and it it is a great spirit. <laughs> It's always been, it was looking after me even when I was, when I turned my back on, on, on him and it was still like, like, you know, protecting me even in the times where I was, where I was careless. And so, I don't know, to me, that's, that's great. Jesus is the only way to the father. Okay. Um, I really don't know how to respond to that. I, I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um. And our works are motivated by our understanding, thankfulness, and love towards him and his tremendous gift. What would you say to an atheist who was questioning his atheism? Do you like tacos? I would. 
<laughs> do you like tacos? <laughs> Let's go have some tacos and we'll talk about it. If there was an atheist, if there were an atheist who was questioning his atheism, I would just encourage him to question it as deeply as he questions uh, uh, theism. Um, be- is, that, is that what it's called? Well, it, the- theology, uh, theology. Uh, the belief in God, mm-hmm. just like he questioned whether or not there is a God and was absolutely certain that there wasn't. I, I would have encouraged that person to question whether uh, question it again, but from the opposite, from the opposite end, because I think uh, for me, the greatest thing that could have happened was for me to find middle ground where I wasn't moving in the opposite direction and I wasn't moving in this other direction either like towards God or nor away because in the center is where I found them you know I I, honestly I'm gonna I'm gonna be completely honest with you all completely 100% honest 100% for me I'm very I'm very careful about looking for God in the things of this world that includes for me practices religious practices and certain textbooks now i still look at textbooks but i'm very careful about about saying ah here is god and then pointing at something because once i point to it god is gone like it's gone you know and so i want to stay in the middle i want to stay in the middle where where i can know where i'm not being pulled in one direction or pushed or shoved in one direction like i have been you know in, in the last few months um you're and so I'm, I'm watching, I'm observing. Some people have, have, you know, come at me pretty strongly. And then I just say, well, are you approaching me with God's love? Yeah, I, I love you. And so that's why I don't want you to die and I don't want you to burn in hell. It was like, okay, well, can you like... Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Like, approach me with love. Where is the love of God? Show me the love of God. Where like, is love? <laughs> no longer a criminal. Jesus loves you too. Um, oh, Julie. Oh, no. It's a, yeah, uh, a person oh, called... Okay. No longer criminal. Okay, um, that's a good approach. Seek God in your heart, His Word, and prayer. As I said before, as I said earlier, like I know that the Word is written in my heart and it's written in my spirit. And when I read something, I I compare, I compare notes. And and in most cases in the Bible, it it, it resonates, it fits. You know, some some things, some things I don't understand, and so some things I'm. I just take a step back from it. I don't. I don't. I don't dismiss it right away. I don't go. Well, that can't be true because it doesn't. It doesn't resonate. No, I. I give it a. Mo- I give it some time because I might be missing certain information, and so I have people like on Discord who answer certain questions, and I'm like, oh, okay, now that makes sense. I'm glad that you explained it in that way because w- I was thinking about it this way, and that's one thing that my grandfather taught me as well is 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 that you're always going to have different positions and different different descriptions of an event from different from different perspectives and so it's good to ask different people from different perspectives not to accept one version as ultimate truth but to ex- to to take it and then take a step back and see what what speaks to your inner truth that's already written within you uh don't know if you saw it let's see uh oh, yeah, daniel 1803 uh, story where is of it how it could be relevant to this where because uh, you know you don't like you, you know you say you don't want people like pushing you yeah saying like oh believe this and you want to find your own journey Mm -hmm. i went to my uncle's house one time and his girlfriend pushed me in the deep end okay and then oh of the pool you mean yeah the pool okay he he (laughs) pushed me in the deep end of the pool and then and then my mom got me and then she slowly put me in and she was teaching me how to swim so i think the way i could turn this into an analogy is that don't let people push you in the deep end have have um take it slowly and go into the pool slowly. Huh. Yeah, like sit down on the cur- on the edge. Put you know, put in. your feet in, chill. You know, just and then slowly learn how to swim. Uh, for me, there's no big rush. I mean, I'm I'm I know that I'm walking with the great spirit. I for me, there's no rush. You know, if he pushes me in. I'm gonna trust that he's gonna that he's gonna help me swim. <laughs> I'm gonna like I'm gonna like, I can't like that's where that's where I think I finally make sense to the thing that says you know trust in God. Don't don't depend on your own on your own understanding because if I depend on my own understanding of how to swim, I'll drown. Oh, <laughs> like for yeah. real, because I I can't I I don't know that I can swim. I can't. They just they just they just they, they just. Okay, so I found it. Uh, D- Daniel eighteen oh three says me and my girlfriend just watched uh, uh, just watched your oceans video where you said. I'm not religious and now what and now watching you you are such an inspiration we love you God is good and uh, greetings to you uh, Daniel to you to you and your girlfriend thank you thank you for that thank you for the love and support um, 
I guess I should really, really be be mindful of what I say and do if I'm being an inspiration to people. Uh, yeah, love you too. Thank you. Look, thanks, your, John. Your video for, like thanks, lags John. and you and it like says like jump off the roof. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> has uh, has your mood changed from it? Yes. Has my mood changed since since I was an atheist? Yes. I'm much happier, much more relaxed. He's I'm much peaceful. much much pe- more peaceful. He's patient. I'm patient. Uh, yeah. So most of the time I, i'm still i'm still human i still have you know uh, my annoyances i still you know like i drove for what i left here like 11 30 in the afternoon and we got here at almost six, six. we got here at almost six and so like i get frustrated you know i get tired I, I come here and i might be i might be frustrated you know like i might just like knock that soda out of her out of her mouth get that, corner out of my get face. that soda out of my face yeah, so but but yeah but overall i'm much more calmer much more peaceful if i see a street preacher i'm not i don't feel the need to go and strike a argument with them for just to you know just to do it just for fun it just, it's, for fun. it's for fun uh did you begin questioning atheism if so what oh where is it uh what part made you question um the lord the lord um what part made me question? Well, that I was having that I was having spiritual exper- experiences. I was having spiritual experiences, and according to them, I shouldn't be because there is no spirit, there's no God, there's nothing. So I continue to have like things like three, 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 and God looking af- out for me. You know, like we'll talk about you know certain things. Yeah, we'll talk about something, and then like I don't know, just random things would happen that I knew was real. I mean, I I consider myself to be a pretty sane person, right? Hmm? What are you saying? I, I consider myself to be a pretty sane person. So I knew that certain things were happening that were otherworldly. And so I started questioning, like, okay, is there, like, is there really not a God? Or is there really, like, is he out there? And then it just it just went from there. I just started making my way towards the middle. Making my way down. Have you ever come across uh, the perennial philosophy? Mm. No, I have not. Um, perennial. No, I have not. I'll look into it though. It sounds interesting. We call those divine appointments. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I've had I had divine appointments, and uh, I couldn't make sense of it um, atheistically. Atheistically. Atheistically, and then also sort of the 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 whole uh, they're very adamant about evolution. Oh, my dead. Okay. Is that good? Yep, an hour. Good? Finito. I guess an hour is what that can can uh, can take, can handle. Yeah, so uh, I was saying that... What was I saying? Uh, yeah, the tacos. Yep, tacos. Yep, yep, yep. so tacos. You were saying how you are going to get me a, a kitty and... Uh, <laughs> Did I? Is that what I was saying? Uh-huh, yeah. Man, I, was, I guess I was hallucinating. I, I was having a <laughs> psychedelic moment. Um, yeah, but anyway. So, yeah. Uh, bring on the new computer. <laughs> yes, sorry. Divine appointments. Oh, yeah, so divine appointments. Yeah, I was having my divine appointments, and then I couldn't go. Oh, so, yes, I remember. So the whole thing that I think was, was also questionable for me was how adamant some atheists are about evolution. And it's like, okay, I understand, I understand, yes, I believe in, in a certain process of evolution, but the whole idea from monkeys, I'm not 100% sure, so I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna, you know, I don't think I was buying that, so. There's something not right here. Yeah, because you know, because on the other end, Christians made a good point, it's like, okay, so if we evolved from monkeys, then why don't we have those people that are still in the process of evolving oh, into monkeys yeah. or, or maybe because it's like maybe um, we killed them in a war or something we thought no. that they were that there was uh you know we were superior and so we killed them in a war i learned about this in my science so corn science. was actually i forgot the name specifically it wasn't how it's grown it was two separate plants that they kept like um breeding and breeding and breeding until they got corn and they kept and then they bred they bred until they got another one of that and they bred those until we have corn and i feel like that's probably Probably. But what happened to the previous plants? Are they still in existence? No, they're not. And now mm. just corn exists because they're just used to like multiplying as that. Same with strawberries, bananas. Hi, uh, little Skittle. <laughs> little Skittle. That's Finally made it to a, to, to a live. I was going to church with a neighbor. And then I went to a psychic fair mm. with my mom. 
God made it so clear the light and dark the light and darkness I was born again a week later oh wow okay cool I didn't realize I thought that was today that you were supposed to go to church with a neighbor today and you went to a psychic prayer sorry <laughs> uh, let's see uh, Swift Mind says I accepted Christ two years ago went from doing drugs and other stuff to to Christ and he helped me quit all my super strong addictions in weeks all glory to God awesome that's great congratulations by the way Congratulations. Corn will always be corn. Corn is actually... I thought we were talking about the band. I was like, what? The hero. Corn is actually a hero, by the way, in Mexico. We uh, we love corn. Elotes. 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 Shout out to all the street vendors selling corn. Uh, even now. Yeah. Let's Not see. all heroes wear capes. You just get variations of the same types of animals. Okay. Oh, that's true. Cool. So I know that... Er Earlier in the decade um, or this millennium, they actually made a liger. Oh yeah. Sci in a little bit, mama. Uh, science actually made a liger, but um, it was uh, sterile, so it wouldn't actually it, like they it they created it, but it couldn't breed and make more ligers because it was just not natural. It wasn't designed that way, so. I really like that you quote crazy. actually read all the time. My family oh, does too. I just did it right now. It's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, you gotta quote Nacho. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta see what it tastes like. Uh, I'll bring something really quick. Let's see. Pop. The liger is still a cat. <laughs> 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 and that was 20 years ago. No turning back. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations, little Skittle. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you found uh, your home. I saw a tiger, and tiger saw a man. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty, Scott, my man. Um. Esquites? Yeah, it, um, that's what they're called in the cup. Oh, uh, okay. There's still a possibility of hybrids to mate and reproduce. It is just very rare. Yeah. And did you know that there's also um, deformities in, in um, fruits and plants? And it's an actual, um, like, you can actually study it? Mm -hmm. like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like calicos. Oh, my God. Calicos are awesome. Uh, can I get, like, a cat in there for if you like calicos? My first, my first kitty love was a calico. I hated cats, and this cat was out in the street. It was almost run over by a car. I took it home like this, like, Ugh, what am I gonna do with a cat? And then, and then, like a few hours later, I was like, oh, a kitty. Of all the days we got a cat, I thought it would be me begging him. <laughs> no, I just walked and I saw the cat. Like, all right. Uh, let's see. So Amy Novak says, I came to Christ at a young age. Walked away and came back now still with Christ, asking questions and learning every day. Thank you for this Q&A. You're welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for all the questions. Any These fun questions, questions are awesome. And thank you for being open with me asking questions so openly. Uh, part of the reason why I didn't come out of my shell for the longest time was because okay. I couldn't find anyone that I could actually comfortably speak to about without, how, what, being, without being judged and all that. And you all have been very wonderful with validated. that. It's validated. Which, which worship song made you question atheism? Which song made you realize God was real? You know, actually, years ago, uh, when I was um, living in San Bernardino with uh, her mama, uh, the, oh, we had a car. A long time ago. Yeah, we had a car that was that had a radio station where all the stations were kind of staticky. But there was one station that was playing, and I was that was an atheist back then, um, and it was. Uh, Air 101, it's a radio station, it's, it's a Christian sort of rock station, and so I was listening to one particular song that was pretty awesome, that uh, had me in tears, because it's just so beautiful, it's, um, what is his name, Tom, oh I thought that was the song, I was like, no, what is his name, the song was, uh, indescribable, Uncontainable, you at the stars in the sky, and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, Chris Tomlin, thank you. Um, so I just thought that was beautiful, you know, like he's just like, you're indescribable, yes, uncontainable, sure. You know, you made the stars in the sky, and you know them by name. And I just thought that was a really awesome picture. I could just ma imagine God as an artist and going, hmm. And then he grabs his brush, and then and then you know the Holy Spirit calls him, and he's like, "What's up?" And then he goes like that, and just paint splatters everywhere, and all of a sudden there's like all these stars everywhere, and he's like, "Oh, look what you made me do here!" 
well, I guess I can call them stars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it goes, oh, I'll call you. And then made nebulas, and I think nebulas were like the uh, the most greatest creation that. But well, what if it's ever also a existed. metaphor for us? Because people say that in each of us is like a light, like lights and stars, and he knows by name saying that we are ah. each we are each important to him, like we're his children. You know, like if I have a bunch of dogs, I you best believe I'm gonna know every single one of them by name. <laughs> That's true. Are you calling those dogs? No. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I got it. Got it. Got it. My bubble co- my Bible cover is a nebula. Awesome. Nebulas yeah. are amazing. Nebulas are amazing. I particularly like the eye nebula. I actually did a art piece. I don't know where it is now, but mm-hmm. um, I chopped up some crayons, yeah. Crayola crayons, chopped them up into tiny little pieces, made them into like the nebula, the eye nebula. You know how it has like red and yellow and blue in the inside. Um, and then I melted melted it with a heat gun and made a awesome looking nebula. So um, if I find it somewhere, I'll share it with you all. I'll show you, but it's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. I really didn't know. I just wanted to put a Christian singer name out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I love your creative mind, uh, Jenna. Thank you, or Jenna. Thank you. Um, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anyone else? A random question? It could be. Random questions? Like, silly um, questions? You wearing Mackie socks? Yes, Question. F- question for an a- old atheist? An ex-atheist? And a 14-year-old girl? <laughs> and a 14-year-old girl? 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2 girl? Yeah. So, you're actually helping me be a witness without being overwhelming, overwhelming to anyone. Yeah. So, that's that's kind of the point here, Amy is to help you all with your approach to people who don't know the love of God. Is That's really what we really want, right? We want other people to be, to feel the love of God in their hearts. I don't know, for, to, for me, it re- I really don't mind, I really don't care if it's, uh, this is going to sound horrible, I really don't care if it's a Christian God or any other God because I'm not acknowledging that there is any other God. But, like, I really don't mind. I don't call myself a Christian, but I, but if people come to this channel and they move towards Christianity, I'm okay with that. I'm good with that because you all have been, like, awesome people to me. And you're all wonderful people. Have you ever seen Little Shop of Horrors? Are you talking about the movie or is this, like, something else? Because I've seen Little Shop of Horrors and I did not know that it was a... Because in Little Shop of Horrors, it's about, like, an alien plant. And it's a musical, so you probably haven't seen it, and that's why. But there's a nebula in the beginning of it that's really pretty. And it's an oil slick on a puddle. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Cool. Like, the way they... Did your daughter ever question the existence of God? Mm, did you? I don't know. Did you ever question the existence of God? I don't know if I have or haven't. I don't know if I'm not. Or I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know where he's not. <laughs> um, actually, she did. Actually, yeah, you had questions about, like, so what is God or who is God? And my answer was always, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. No, that's right. It's I don't know. What do you think? And then I let her... You know, let her a- answer that and see if it answered. And I'd give her hints, but I never said there's no God. Even as an atheist, I never said there's no God because yeah. I didn't. I didn't like someone else installing ideas in in my head about what God is. I wanted to discover it on my own, and I wanted her to also discover it on her own as well. Oh, so. a nebula is um, a collection of stars. Wait, mm-hmm. I don't know. A nebula is a nebula is actually a dying star. There you go. It's a dying star. It's a star that's already dying. Um, it's usually surrounded by a lot of gases, and what ha- what ends up happening is is that it, when it dies, it explodes and then gives birth birth to other tiny stars, which eventually turn into uh, either little mini solar. But they look pretty. Systems. Do you consider yourself a Christian? I do not consider myself a Christian. Uh, my girlfriend is Christian. Um, she. This is practically why I'm here, um, because of her, her interest in it, and she loves music, so, so there's that. Um, if you if you love nebulas, you have to watch a movie called The Fountain. Um, it's starring uh, huge no. a- huge Ackman. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, huge Ackman. We should watch that movie. Uh, called The Fountain, and and also Rachel Wise from uh, George of the Jungle, I think is where she's from. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. Excellent movie. I kid you not. I've seen it. Go ahead. Tell them. How many times have I seen it, would you say? Um, okay. You've seen it maybe like 999,999 times. 
stop. What, what's all the gang signs? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Did you see that? Do that again. No, that's, I mean, it's hard to. Okay, so. 999,999 times. Yeah. I've seen it a lot of times. And so. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I've seen it so many times. And the, first of all, the cinematography is beautiful. The story is beautiful. You have to pay attention to it. If you watch it once and you go, what the heck was that? It's normal. Uh, <laughs> you just have to watch it again. Because there's there, it's like a, a beautiful string that ties these th three stories together. And you watch it multiple times, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see how it all comes together. Um, and then, um, that there's a nebula. He's, he's, like on a, he's like in a bubble that's heading yeah. towards a dying nebula. And the colors is just beautiful at the end. It's just amazing. It's about the tree of life in the in the in the Bible, um, Spanish conquistadors, all kinds of awesome stuff. So it's a beautiful movie. I recommend it. Uh, time for a watch party. Oh, I wish we could. John, can we do that? Can we have a watch party on Discord without it getting shut off? So like we played it somewhere. Maybe like on a tab. Like can we have like a like on Discord? Somebody we can. We can watch Nacho. We can watch Nacho, yeah. Nacho! Nacho! Yeah, please, John, can we figure that out and then we can invite everybody to watch the fountain with us? I have it somewhere. I don't know if we can rent mm. it, if we have to rent it or something. Or What's the name of that one Excellent. song from Seven Pounds? Oh, uh, and um, The Crisis from... Oh, yeah. The Crisis? What about it? Let's oh. uh, No, the song is pretty. Oh, yeah. Um, so there's that. So you heard Luna saying Nacho in the background. Nacho. Be, Nacho. Careful. Be careful. Alright, so. <laughs> Luna. Beneath the clothes you find the man, and beneath the man you find his. Nacho! No, 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 Nacho. Nucleus. <laughs> Nucleus. Uh, nacho cheese, give it back. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, Bruno. Baby. Get over there, please. Go away. Bye -bye. Go away. Read, Read some, some books. books. Bye bye. <laughs> Read some books. Yeah. So yeah. So that that's uh, nebulas. I love nebulas. Nebulas are like my favorite thing. Uh, let's see. Any other any other questions? Nacho. Hang on, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions here? I was watching your video to reaction to the to Rectus Love. Oh, I was watching your video to reaction to Rectus Love. Uh, earlier, God. Oh, earlier. Oh, no, God bless saying. you. Yeah, God bless you and your family. Thank you, Tanya Smith. Uh, I appreciate the love and support. Is Thank it you. Tanya or Tonya? Tanya. Tanya. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's see. If you love nebulas, I recommend Carl Sagan's Cosmos. Yes, someone was. Dad jokes? <coughs> was actually recommended that the other day, too. And then I saw Neil deGrasse's. DeGrasse's Neil deGrasse Tyson's Z -Z -Z Cosmos. Like a commercial for it. Oh, true. Have you always loved music? Yes, I have. Uh, music is in my family. My grandfather, um, my grandfather was a musician. He played all of his life. My uncles played. My mom even plays. She plays the piano or keyboard. And oh, even before I was born, while I was in her belly, um, she was playing. So I grew up in music. Uh, my name is Enigo Montoya. Mm -hmm. Oh, Anigo Montoya, you... No, you it's, oh, it's a quote. You killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. die. <laughs> Where's that from? I know it, but it left my mind, man. I, I know where it's from. I mean, I don't know where it's from. It's he a has a sword. Mind. Right? He has a sword? Mustache? Prepare oh, to die. Like, like never. <laughs> is, it, is it... Never heard I don't the story? Remember. Or is it Princess Bride? Yeah, Princess Bride. Princess Bride, there you go. Oh! I yeah. have seen it. I, and it's the dude from Colonel Mind. Yeah, it's a dude from Criminal Minds. <laughs> and Emma, when he lost his, when he goes to Gratchland, he's the bad guy that steals Emma's blanket. Oh yeah. That was my movie. Remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah. She used to love Elmo. Oh, Elmo. And I can't do it right now. But <clears throat> where's my Elmo? I don't uh, know where it is. Last year. He, yeah. Uh, he he died. He died. He did. He died. He gone. What do you mean that he's gone? He's not gone. Le he's he had to go back to work, remember? He's an old grandpa. He's an old he guy. <laughs> <laughs> Princess, Princess, Princess Buttercup? That's What's awesome. Hello, I have a sermon recommendation for you. You should listen to uh, Hell's Best Kept Secret by Ray Comfort. Uh, 
it's really interesting. You know what, Nathan? Out of respect, I will listen. I will watch it. I personally have find uh, Ray Comfort sort of discomforting, but I will watch it. That's, that's I, ironic. I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah. Is that his real name, by by the way? Ray Comfort. Ray Comfort. I don't. I, I don't find Ray Comfort's approach. Um, Loving, I guess you could say. I know that he means it with love in his own way, but I, uh, but I'll watch it. Sure, Hell's Best Kept Secret. I gotta, I gotta write this down. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget, and then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna find this. So let's see. So I'll take a, a couple more questions here, and then I'll, I'll head out, because I promised the girls movie night. So we're gonna have a, ourselves a movie night and some food. Hell's Best Kept Secret. Yes. I think I know what it might be. Have you had a chance to play or sing this movie? Is it, is it the belief that there is no hell? Or oh, there is no movie, devil? What movie are we watching? What movie? I don't know. I think we're going to see if we can watch the new Bill and Ted. If not... Oh, yeah. The new uh, Bill and Ted. We'll, we'll see. Poppin' Poop? What? No. Hello. Oh. Yeah. Uh, waiting for your cover. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. What cover? Coming. Uh, I think my cover of Sparrows, I think is what you were saying. I uh, think it was the same. Dad jokes? <coughs> what you watching? Oh, what we... You got a dad joke? Yeah. Go for it. Why? <laughs> is it clean? Yes, it is. Okay, clean. go for it. Uh, why did Why did the mushroom go to the party? Cause why he's... did go say it? Why did the mushroom go to the party? Cause he's a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he's a fun guy. <laughs> Cheesy. Oh, I was going to tell you a, a pizza joke, but it was too cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say the one I told you earlier, but it's too political. Oh, yeah. But it's political, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you see birds flying in the V pattern, why? why is one side always shorter? That's right. Every time I think is of the flying joke, V. Or is it like oh, can you guess what I think of when I think of the flying V? What do you think of? What do you think I think of when I hear the flying V? Uh, the letter V flying? No. No. Good one, Scott, but no. Tacos? No. <laughs> violin? No. What do you call a flying... Uh, what do you call a fly with no wings? Uh, uh, what do you call a fly with no wings? Dead? I don't know. Dead fly? Oh, wait, I have Taylor, a... Taylor Rowan. Ding, 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 ding. The Mighty oh, Ducks. Ducks. Yeah. That's right. Someone else said it. That's ninja right. said it. Oh, Ninja. Ninja Phobos. Yes. The Mighty Ducks. The Flying V. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you call a fly with no wings? A wait, uh, Oh, no. A no, walk? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. Um. What's the difference between a bird and a fly? What's the difference between a bird and a fly? Give it a minute, give it a minute. That the fly flies and the bird doesn't bird? No. What? A bird can fly, but a fly can't bird. <laughs> what? <laughs> a bird is not an action. I know, that's why. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Taco or Taco Bell Crunchy Wrap? Taco. Taco. Hey, can you review Mike... Guglielmuchi? Guglielmuchi. Guglielmuchi. Healer. It's a sad story. It's got a sad story behind, but but he was mentally sick. Oh, I'm sorry for ruining his name. We're not purposely doing that. We just can't. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Um, Okay, yeah. Let me write that down. Why do we park on a driveway and drive on a... On a park... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Let me take a screenshot. Boom. Okay. But why is it red and read? Why are they spelled the same? How do we know? English is hard. And how is phonetic even... Not phonetically. Why is hooked on phonics not even phonetically correct? Like, you can't... Phonics... It's phonics. Yeah. Anyway. And then who exactly put the alphabet in that specific order? Why is it that order? That's true. So is taco always corn tortilla or or can flour tortilla be a taco? Yes, it can a be a taco. Flour, flour tortilla can be a taco. A... But it's usually a burrito because yeah. it's wrapped. But the burrito is wrapped. 
But you can have a soft taco and and have it be flour, mm -hmm. tortilla. They make small ones. English is weird. Yes, English it is. is hard. Does anybody know why uh, American English doesn't have a U for like color or flavor or or anything like that? Why did we drop the U? Oh. I, I, oh. I heard an answer that is actually interesting. Wait, wait. What what did the brother cell say to the sister cell when she stepped on his foot? What did the brother cell say to the sister cell when he stepped on his foot? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but what were you going to say? Wait, wait. We didn't drop the U. <laughs> we didn't drop the U. Yeah, we out here we did. So we say we don't say flavor. We say flavor with just O R, no flavor. But but I heard that in the times when they were when they were making the, the printing the print mm -hmm. for newspapers. Yes. Uh, they would charge them, I think, by the letter or something to that effect. And so they started dropping the U. They dropped all the U's in there to make them shorter so that they can compact mm. all the the letters in the oh i got i got a joke in a okay. i don't know if that's true oh wait no i don't know if it's mean because it's like it's the brunette with the mm. not brunette, it's not okay, never. if you think it might be mean don't don't do it i used to watch some british television growing up and it gave me spelling poems with american <laughs> english <laughs> i know um yeah i'm australian and everything has the u okay so, so, so almost baby almost done luna's getting frustrated Oh, my toesis. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> My Nice. Uh, never all of prompts. Did you hear about the scarecrow that got an award? Yes. He was outstanding. In his field. <laughs> <laughs> the scarecrow got an award because he was outstanding in his field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Alright, so a... Um, a uh, guy goes to the doctor because he has a stomach ache, and the doctor says, "Hey, I've got some bad news and some good news." He says, "The bad news is that you have a pretty bad disease. Like it's a like you have a you're, you're really really sick." He says, "Well, what's the good news?" He says, "The good news is we're gonna name it after you." <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> uh, That's horrible. Yeah, that is horrible. We love that dark humor. Horrible. Dark humor is our thing. <laughs> you try to filter as much as you can. Oh man, this uh, guy goes to the doctor, gets checked up, right? And the doctor says, "You're you're gonna die. You have about ten days to live." And he says, ten days to live? Is there anything that I could do, doc?" He says, "I'm sorry, there's nothing you can do." He goes, "Doc, there's always something you could do. Anything, therapy, you know, just anything, surgery, something. There's got to be something that I could do." And he says, "Well, there is something you can do." He says, "What, doc? I'll do anything. Just tell me what is it." He says, "Well, uh, well here's what I want you to do for the next few nights." I want you to go to, to your backyard and I want you to just, do you have a backyard? He says, yes, I have a backyard. Do you, do you have dirt in the backyard? He said, yes. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go throw, toss dirt all over your body, just bathe in the dirt. And he says, is that going to take my illness away? He says, no, but that'll get you used to it. <laughs> That's worse. Oh, I got one. A, oh. dys a dyslexic man walks into a bra. <laughs> oh. A dyslexic man walks into a bra. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Alright, familia. Well, I think we're going to call it an evening. I good you, bid evening. I, don't, I forgot where that movie, where that was from. I got it from a movie. I good you all, bid evening. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for the fun. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the answers. I appreciate your time. Uh, vaya con Dios, everybody. Thank you all so much for being so loving and so kind and so um, so accepting of not just myself but my family and, and everyone. Our so and our weirdness, yes. It's gonna be a lot weirder from here. Yeah. Thank you all. Let, why don't we end this with uh, by by uh, mentioning something that we may all be uh, grateful for? What is something that you all are grateful for? And I'll read them. I'll read them out loud here. What is something that you're all grateful for this week that may have happened this week? What's your worst customer S Scott. interaction? Customer interaction? I don't know. Scott, uh, by the way, congratulations on taking that step, brother. I uh, wish you luck. 
with that giant move you just made. Mm -hmm. Grateful for supportive friends, Scott says. Um, good sleep. <laughs> awesome, Kathy. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm grateful for that too. That little break that we took was fantastic. I, I got to actually sleep for eight hours two of those three days, so that was great. Uh, Taylor Rowan says, my wife. Oh, that's nice. Um, uh, Janice Briggs says, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. The moment right here with you, my friend. Oh, uh, is it Cafe? Thank you so much. Best wishes. Hope you enjoy the movie. God gave rock, God gave rock and roll to you. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Maybe we, yeah. We gotta watch that movie. We gotta see if it's, if it's available. Bill and Ted's. Uh, oh, yeah. Ann Horton says, my, my husband, blessed work trip, Angela says, Audrey, Audrey Hutchinson says, learning, learning to bake bread. Oh, mm -hmm. awesome. What kind of bread? Please share it on Discord. If you're on Discord, Audrey, please share it. If you're not, please join us on Discord and share your, your, your bread, uh, your recipe. There's some scratch. awesome stuff going on there. You did? Yeah. Guess who's making banana bread from scratch tomorrow night? I'm grateful for hearing the voice of God in a, in a bad situation. Awesome, Amy. Uh, congratulations on that. Grateful for my family, Nikki says. Prue Bell says, I'm so thankful for the encouragement of my friends in La Familia. Thank you for being a part of La Familia. We appreciate that. Um, Jenny says, you. Me or her? Me, her, her, me, her, me, me, him, her, her, me, him, you, I'm not her, you. you. <laughs> I don't know, you are me. I am me. Ah. Uh, I am and will. Scott, amen. Uh, for the chosen, Norma, yes, grateful for the chosen. Wonderful storytelling. Uh, I don't know if I shared this with with you all, but I've been in, maybe invited to be, uh, to be an extra on season two of the chosen. You inviting me, huh? You inviting me, right? Nah, you don't look uh, native enough, <laughs> or uh, foreign enough. You actually do, but actually. Uh, love, family, rain, patience, birthday party. My kids are both born in September. Aw, happy birthday! Happy birthday to your baby, <laughs> Roxana. Uh, yeah, my, my baby's birthday is coming up too in October, yeah. early October. She's yeah. gonna be six, I'm yeah. sure of that. <laughs> She's like, Yeah, six, and I'm gonna have I think it's time for her to start getting a job. No, you know, you're six, you should be, you know, kids in Mexico are always are already working at age five. So you're late. <laughs> Hi, so happy to see you all. You're okay, so much fun to watch. Thank you. you. Yes, go ahead and ask. Um, oh, I forgot. Come over here and say bye. Look, okay. they want you to say no, bye. No, I was going to ask because okay. I want to design something for La I don't want to knock that over. But okay. I don't know what okay. to do, like screensavers, mugs, what? Like something for mugs? Stickers, or? maybe? Stickers. Bye. Stickers. I got my daddy. <laughs> Baby. Tell everybody why you're so cute. Because my daddy made me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer ever. I did not tell her to say that, right? You said that all by yourself, right? You think I'm you think I'm I'm a good daddy? Why? Because you did you take care of us really good. And I when do? and when dads and mom they take care of a kid's really good Pay your five dollars. Then that means uh, that means that they're a good dad or a good mom. Oh, okay, that's nice. You good daddy, you good daddy. Thank you. Thank you're you for being daddy. a you're thank you for being a good daughter. You are another. Pet. Why did you Why did you uh, Why did you pick me to be your dad? Because uh, I was like, hmm, which dad should I have? Ooh, this one. I like it. <laughs> then you picked me? Uh, yeah, because well, I like, like the tablet? hair. Oh, you like my hair? <laughs> <laughs> and also because, and also because um, when I win it a lot. Oh, look. I it comes out of the $5. <laughs> yeah? Excellent. Okay, say goodnight. Say goodnight, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Okay, I'm going to tell you what to say, okay? <laughs> say, say this. Help my dad's <laughs> Help him spread peace. <laughs> share a taco. You heard the lady. Help me spread love. <laughs> Help me spread peace. And share a taco with me on Discord. And I will and see like you all. And like the video and give him a big thumbs up. <laughs> there you go. See, that's, she what, that's what a bunch of people say when, when they <laughs> just win. When they just made a... There you go. You heard the lady. <laughs> give me a big thumbs up. Uh, 
uh, hit the like button and give me a big thumbs up. That's what she said. <laughs> that she said. That's what a bunch of people say all the time. Not so I guess. Just, <laughs> not just, not just so, so my dad can have money. Also, because he can have friends. So yeah, so I can have friends. <laughs> Apparently, she thinks dad needs friends. <laughs> yeah. He had he has some friends, but uh, on his. Uh, Thank you, Dori. On his 130 friends, it's zero. Uh, out of 130 friends, I have zero. She says. Okay. Uh, so thank you, Dori, for the super chat. Appreciate that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the girl some pizza. Make him have a, a lot of friends. John, pack. thank you for Luna. Oh, for Luna. Oh, John. You, you, just, you mean for me, right? Luna, for you me? just got twenty dollars. Oh, John, you know what they say, yeah. man. You got. Come on. You can't. You can't. You can't <laughs> give one kid something. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I'm, no, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I got a record player. And yeah. also, do not subscribe to people that are that are uh, doing fake stuff in their in their lying. Some people are, some <laughs> okay, people hang on, hang on, hold hold lies. your horses, hold your horses. Lies. All right, so um, yeah, so Liana Yi has been a straight A student, and I got her a a uh, record player. Can I bring it? With her, no, it's good. Okay. With a her first vinyl record is Weezer, and I shared a I shared a video on stories on Instagram. If you're not following on Instagram, Instagram handle is right there. Bam, Tower of Torres. Follow us. Let us know. Thank you, uh, Feisty oh, Ferret. Thank you. Oh, that's oh, an awesome name. on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thank you all so much for joining us. Join us on Discord for more fun. I will see you all in uh, our next get a our next live. Handshake. Yeah, we'll so everyone can do it. Okay, we have to create our secret handshake she says so she's like my 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 youtube consultant so she knows <laughs> everything that's going on in youtube she's suggesting that i have a secret handshake so we will have a secret handshake because next time royal family they have this one was like boom, boom, and then okay that. awesome okay so we're gonna have ourselves a secret handshake everybody that you're gonna you're gonna join in oh someone thought i was your, yeah, and, you were my and, brother and, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, we're, and we're gonna tell you to always do it and you have to do it Oh, Sinfaya, thank, thank so you, you for that the, compliment. So you thought I was your older brother? So you could be in my dad's family. That's what we're all saying things like, you have to do, you have to do this. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much. Uh, we will see you on our next on our next uh, journey. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.